welcome back so we are going ahead in stress test analysis so till now we have discussed about the basics of stress test analysis why we are using stress test analysis along with that we have done conversion of physical systems for example we have done uh, how to represent electrical system in terms of state model along with that same way we can convert the mechanical system in state model so we know that how to select the state variables and what uh, why it is useful all those things we have discussed today we are uh, doing the next topic that is basically conversion of a, a state space into transfer function so we are converting the given uh, state space model in terms of a transfer function so that conversion we are doing today so before that i will quickly revise that uh, how we use state space analysis uh, in this we are already familiar with this block diagram and we represent the system with the help of equation x dot is equal to a x of t plus b u of t and y is equal to c x of t plus d u of t where my inputs are represented with, with the help of u output y state variable x number of inputs m because it can be also applied to mimo system we have already discussed in the advantages of state space uh, the number of outputs are p and number of state variables are n okay state matrix so matrix a is state matrix matrix b is input matrix c is output matrix d is direct transmission matrix the dimensions we have discussed that a is a, always a square matrix with dimension n cross n b is input matrix with dimension n cross n c is output matrix with dimension p cross n and d is a direct transmission matrix with uh, dimension p cross m okay now we are going uh, in our main topic of discussion today so how we can convert the transfer function from given state space so our basic equation is x dot is equal to a x of t plus b u of t and y is equal to c x of t plus d u of t if we take laplace transform the equations will be s x of s equals to a into x of s plus b into u of s and y of s is equal to c into x of s plus d into u of s okay now what i am doing i am just taking this x of s uh, from my state variable equation in left side so what will happen here it is actually matrix a so if you want to do uh, if you want to carry out x of s common you need to have this also as a matrix so i can write s into identity matrix right with the dimension similar to dimension of matrix a okay so it will be s into i minus a into x of s equals to b into u of s so the further step i have written here that when you simplify it, it will be s into i minus a x of s is equals to b into u of s now if i uh, multiply with si minus a inverse on both the side then what will happen if i multiply on both the side with the si minus a inverse then x of s will be si minus a inverse into b u of s okay now i have uh, received some value of x of s which i can place in my output equation because in output equation you also have term x of s so what i can do is y of s is equal to c into x of s plus d into u of s in that i will place the uh, uh, derivation i have done for x of s so x of s is c, uh, c si minus a inverse into b into u of s so if i place it here and take u of s common then my final term will be c into s i minus a whole inverse into b plus d whole equal to u of s okay so already we know that what is transfer function transfer function is laplace of output by laplace of input only for understanding purpose so i can see here it is y of s upon u of s will be my this term so i can say that this term will be giving me what the transfer function which i require okay so this is the uh, equation through which i can uh, get the transfer function from the given state model so already you will be given abcd matrix and those abcd matrix if you place in this equation then after simplification you will get a transfer function so to clarify this point i will also cover one examples uh, example so that you can uh, apply the equation and then you can convert the given state model in the transfer function so let's go for the example here uh, the state model is given that uh, x dot x1 dot x dot is equals to matrix a x1 x2 plus matrix b into u y is equals to c x1 x2 plus d into u okay so 
uh, we need to convert the transfer function so for that what we are doing basically we are just uh, applying the equation c into si minus a whole inverse into b plus d but in that we first of all calculate si minus a inverse so how we can calculate si minus a inverse simply you can write s into identity matrix uh, because here the dimension of matrix is 2 cross 2 so we will take the identity matrix with the dimension 2 cross 2 so s into 1 0 0 1 minus a matrix a is already given here so if you simplify it will be s minus 1 2 and s plus 3 okay now i want to find si minus a inverse already uh, we know that how we can find inverse of a matrix okay so you need to have adjoint of a, adjoint of given matrix upon determinant of that matrix so here what i have done it is a 2 cross 2 matrix so you can find the adjoint with the help of shortcut so we just interchange this two term in this diagonal and we convert the sign of the other two terms in this uh, this diagonal so uh, what we have is s plus 3 1 minus 2 s this is adjoint of given matrix si minus a and this is determinant of si minus a so if you simplify your final si minus a a inverse calculation will be like this 1 upon s square plus 3 s plus 2 into s plus 3 1 minus 2 s as a matrix okay now this is my si minus a i'm placing in the equation of transfer function so again if you place that equation in the transfer function you place other matrix c 1 0 b 0 1 d 0 so at the end if you calculate uh, if i multiply this two matrix and if i simplify at the end you will get a transfer function 1 upon s square plus 3 s plus 2 so for given system i can convert the transfer function with the help of equation c into si minus a whole inverse into b plus b again we will consider here that we have neglected the initial condition because when we are in transfer function we are not considering initial condition so this is the representation of given state model in the transfer function okay now this we have done how we can do it in the uh, in the manual way now we will use the software matlab to convert the state space to transfer function so for that there is a command nm equals to ss2tf and matrix abcd okay actually ss2tf is the command state space to transfer function so this command will be using to convert ss to tf means state space to transfer function now a b c d are my input arguments which means they are my input matrices and n and m are my outputs so n stands for numerator coefficients and m stands for denominator coefficients okay fine so first of all we should know how to uh, define matri matrix in matlab so uh, here uh, in this particular example we have two cross two matrix so uh, that is matrix a so matrix a i can write zero space one then colon minus two space minus three so when you put this symbol the matlab will understand it is a new row okay so this thing you have to keep in mind similarly b is a column matrix 2 cross 1 so it is 0 1 right next row then c equals to it's a row matrix 1 0 and d is a 0 then if i write command nm is equals to ss2 tf abcd then it will consider this matrix is abcd and it will convert its state mod uh, its transfer function from given state model and you will have n as 1 and m is equals to 1 3 2 by this you have to these are basically coefficients so by this you have to understand that the coefficients if you convert in the form of equation or we can say the with the help of already you know that this is s raised to 0 coefficient s raised to 0 s raised to 1 s raised to 2 so your transfer function will be 1 upon s square plus 3 s plus 2 so for any given state model uh, maybe it may be a uh, matrix a may be 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 or of any higher dimension you can use this ss2 tf command to convert state model in the form of transfer function okay so i hope the uh, the methodology to convert ss2 tf manually as well as in simulation is clear and you can use this command in upcoming sessions we'll also learn how to convert transfer function to state space right so in that we will also have manual uh, manual method as well as the uh, simulation method in which the command will be changed tf to ss will be the command and we can convert the given trust function in state model and that we will discuss in the upcoming session so till now 
this is the way you can convert a given stress space into transfer function so for practice i have given you two problems one is again matrix h2 cross 2 right to cross two problems will be always easy because you can straight away uh, do uh, inverse calculation right si minus a inverse will be easy but when we have three cross three matrix like given in second problem then you will have to do the complete method to convert si minus a inverse so it will be a lengthy uh, si minus a inverse calculation will take some time so the method will remain the same equation will be the same c into si minus a whole inverse into b plus d okay so these two problems you have to try in practice and then you have to write the answers in comment section whatever transformation you can write whatever transformation you are getting you can also write with the help of n and m only coefficients you can write and i'll understand uh, the calculation is right or wrong okay so uh, this was the basic understanding and basic relationship through which you can convert the given state space in the transfer function represent